Keep in mind that those rising oil and gasoline prices, uh, it can filter through to the costs of other goods and services. Everything you buy off the, the shelf in a store, it got there either by plane, train or automobile. And so those higher costs in time will filter through even to uh, non-petroleum uh, or, or uh, energy related items. Uh, they've got a couple of problems that they're going to have to deal with. One, a lot of this inflation is not demand-based. Some of it is, but a lot of it is based on supply. And now uh, with uh, further disruptions to commodities uh, because of the war in Ukraine, neither of those are things that the Fed can fix. And it's going to take multiple rate increases to really dull demand enough to have a noticeable impact on inflation. That's going to take time, and that's going to take some work on the part of the Fed. And that also introduces another risk that they face, which is if they go too slow, inflation can continue to accelerate. If they go too fast, they could, yes, bring inflation down, but they could bring the rest of the economy with it.